Hi, I'm Dr. Brant Larson. Welcome to the video. We're talking about the 10 functions of the liver. Now, there are like 500 different functions that your liver goes through. It's a very, very important organ, very complex. There's a lot of work. It's a very, very busy organ. So we're going to cover 10 functions here because the liver is so critical to your health. And in our modern society, it's very clogged. It's very congested. It doesn't get to do the work that, it, that it, it should or could do, it's being overburdened. So let's look at 10 of the functions of it. Number one, metabolize food. So think protein, fat, carbohydrates. It helps your body to break all this down, just like the small intestine, the stomach, the large intestine, the pancreas, everything. It all works together. Number two, it's a storehouse of nutrients. So think like blood sugar, which is glucose. Uh, think vitamins and minerals. It's, it's a storage site. Number three, a blood filter. So this is where we get into re removing harmful chemicals, bacteria, and then it combines that stuff with other things to help excrete it. It's a very, very powerful system, but a blood filter is, is a kind of a function that, that your liver does. Uh, number four, it makes bile. Bile is made by the liver, stored in the gallbladder. So when people have gallbladder issues, I always try to tell them, look, you don't just have a gallbladder problem, you have a liver problem as well. So that, that, that bile is getting thick, it's getting congested, and it's stagnating. Now, there are some people that have more of a genetic tendency to have gallbladder issues, of course. But you have to look further and say, hey, is there other things going on? Because the gallbladder is a storage sack for bile, but the liver makes it. So what bile does is it breaks down the fat that you eat. It emulsifies that. I have other videos on this as well. About a quart to a quart and a half per day, roughly, is what your, your body, your, your liver makes of bile. Number five, a fat-soluble vitamin storage. I need to make a video on this because fat-soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K, are critical for your health, and they're very, very deficient in a lot of people. You look back to Weston Price's work and some of these other people that pioneered this, the facial structures, the wisdom teeth extractions, the crooked teeth that we have, the airways, the, the skinny faces, kind of like mine, right? It's skinny. It's not wide dental arches. This is a big part of it. It's getting the proper fat-soluble vitamins, and the liver is a storage site of that. Number six, uh, blood storage. So in times of need or stress, so in times of need, that would be something like you got, you got an accident and you're bleeding, okay? So your liver has an extra storage and in times of stress, of course. Uh, number seven, it makes serum proteins. This might have to do with maintains the fluid balance of the blood and acts as carriers, okay? Number eight, maintains uh, body's fluids. So the fluids are very important. Electrolyte, water balance, these things have to be in balance. So it's part of the process along with the kidneys that help regulate that. Uh, number nine, immune system, of course. Okay, the immune system, the spleen, the thymus gland, there's other organs, of course, but the liver has a, has a, a, a part in making immune substances like gamma globulin. Uh, and then num number 10, this is one that people don't think about too much, but it breaks down excess hormones. See, just like your cells are not the same cells that you had 10, 20 years ago, they're new cells, even though they're similar looking, you know, your skin, your organs, your ear, whatever, your hair, whatever it might be. Hormones, your body makes hormones, but it has to break them down as well. So estrogen, adrenaline, testosterone, all down the line of hormones. So your liver has to, has to do part of that job. It actually has to metabolize and break down the old ones so your body can make new ones. Now, if it's busy and stressed and it's doing other tasks that it's, you know, it's, it's being overworked, this doesn't work as well. So it's one of the reasons why people start to get high cholesterol too. So if we just kind of help support the liver sometimes, cholesterol drops right down. And we're not even trying to treat anything. We're just helping support the liver. So that's another little tip for you. Uh, the liver helps break down excess hormones, cholesterol, things like that. Uh, DrLarson.com is my website if you want to learn more. And uh, I'll see you on another video.